top of morning to all of you laddies out there. Welcome to your life. We're starting a brand new life together. I hope you're excited about it. I am very excited about it. This life, not so great. Because we're not in it together. Let's get let's get a life going together, shall we? We're playing a game called BitLife. I did something a little while ago called... <laughs> something. I played a game called Imagine Lifetimes, where we got to build out our life together. I dated my teacher. Things got very weird very quickly. So this is a mobile game called BitLife, where you get to do basically the same thing. I got in and I tried it out a tiny little bit, just to see what it was like. But we're going to start a new life together. We're going to start Paddy's life. I'm creating a character called Paddy Fitzpatrick. Uh, he's from Ireland in Shannon. Uh, Shannon's not a county in Ireland, so I don't know why they just pick from there. They're probably like, oh, Irish people, Shannon, got it. Okay, so let's start Paddy's life together. Okay, Paddy, you're already off to a bad start. You're already making a lot of nights. Uh, happiness, 86%. Health is 89%. Smarts are 93%. I'm smarter as a newborn baby day-old infant than I am in real life at almost 30 years old. Uh, but the looks are at 15%. That's not great now. 15% <laughs> is not good. We're going to have to grow into our faces. Kind of like I did in real life as well. Anyway, when I was born, I looked like I was carved from a spud. Uh, most Irish people look like they're carved from rocks anyway, so. Uh, Paddy Fitzpatrick, aged zero years. I was born a male in Shannon, Ireland. I was conceived on a camping trip. How romantic. My birthday is April 24th and I'm a Taurus. All right, we're going to let that slide. All right, it's airy season, so we're going to see if this will even work. My father is William Fitzpatrick, an army enlistee, uh, and my mother is Isabella Doherty, a travel agent. High, high prospects, high hopes. Right, what do I do? Infant. What can I do as an infant? Uh, <laughs> not a whole lot. In infants can't do anything. Uh, I have zero assets, because uh, I'm zero years old. Uh, I have a bank's balance of zero as well, because let's face it, babies don't need money. Uh, let's age you up. Okay, age one year. My father has promoted- was promoted to sergeant first class, my mother's been promoted to general manager. That's great, but what about me? Okay, my- my stats kinda went up. My looks went up. One percent. I thought you were supposed to be really cute as a baby. Apparently I'm a- an ugly fecker. Ah, Jace lads, I'm two years old and I'm already suffering from the flu. What am I supposed to do? Vaccination. Your mother is taking you to the doctor's office to get vaccinated. Vaccinate your kids! Okay, this shouldn't be a thing of if and or. Just do it! Uh, throw a tantrum, bite her, or try and stay calm. I'll try and stay calm because I'm a nice old child. You know what? You know, that's boring. I'm not gonna live the life that I already had, alright? We're in this life together. We're gonna- we're gonna mess stuff up. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have- live the life that we want. Basically, I'm picking all the shots anyway, so whatever you say in the comments after this, doesn't matter because I've done it anyway. I remained calm when my mother took me to the doctor's office to get vaccinated. Ah, good lad. Uh, can I do anything else? I went up 17% though. My relationships. My relationships with my mother and father are good. That's- that's mighty. Breakup. Your mother and father have ended their relationship- WHAT?! Already?! It's three years old and I have to deal with a divorce?! <laughs> Jesus! Was it me?! Am I the problem? Is it because my looks are only at 18% and my parents wanted me to actually be a good looking baby? And I'm not. So they got divorced. I broke up my parents' marriage by being so ugly. My father has been promoted to Master Sergeant. My mother and father ended their relationship. You hate to see it happen, lads. Alright, I'm four years old. Is anything happening to me yet? No, I'm just gonna keep aging up until I can go to school. Wedding! Your mother has married your new stepfather, John Murray, a 28-year-old trucker. They went to the Elephant Festival for their only moon. <laughs> and people said romance is dead. Chivalry is dead. Mother getting divorced with a three-year-old son. And then John Murray's out here <laughs> as a trucker bringing my mother to the elephant festival for their honeymoon. What a- what a mad lad. <laughs> oh no, he has lots of money but no kindness. That's not really the- the ratio that you want in those. John Murray, your stepfather. Now that you have a stepfather, you're wondering how to address him. What do you call him? Name John Murray. <laughs> we call him Murray. <laughs> we call him John Murray. Hey John Murray! I'm sick! Can I go to school? Maybe we should call him Dude. I would call him dude. <laughs> Bye, mom! Later, dude! <laughs> Alright, I've grown into my face a small bit. I'm at 21% now. What, what would you rate this? Leave, leave your rating of my face in the comments below. It better be high or my self-esteem is not going to be able to handle it. <laughs> I decided I would address my new stepfather as dude. And now we're in school. We're six years old in school. 
Uh, primary school. So, let's see. What can we do in school? Uh, drop out. Drop out of primary school. <laughs> I kind of want to. <laughs> Start school. You know, my parents got divorced when I was three. It's a hard life. I'm probably not going to grow up to be great. Alright, who's in my class? Oliva Hajar. Ty Fitton. Sadie Lynch. Robin O'Reilly. Robert Reese. Ponce Ortega. What a great name. Kyle O'Toole. Ah, uh, he, he was a tool. Eva O'Toole. Are they your brother and sister or cousins? Eva Roberts, Alex Driscoll. Ah, I should have got you guys to try and pronounce this name. That's Eva. A O I F E. Eva. Grand old name. Mrs. O'Driscoll, Mrs. Driscoll doesn't like me though. Why not? What did I do? I'm only new in class. Is it because I, I haven't grown into my face yet? Is it because I'm an ugly fecker? Alright, uh, let's compliment her. You told your teacher, Mrs. Driscoll, that she's fly. Yeah, that's- that's the way Irish people talk. What's up, teacher? Later, dude! Yeah, you're super fly! Awesome! Yeah, I dig it! That's not how Irish people talk. He'd be like, Mrs. Driscoll, you're deadly! Ah, you're class! Uh, alright, um, what else should we do? Can I do anything else? Let's just age up for now. Age seven. Family vacation. Your mother wants to take you on a family road trip around Ireland. That sounds lovely! I'd love to go on a round trip around Ireland. Well, at seven years old, I don't think I would've wanted to. Be appreciative, complain but go, refuse to go. I'll complain, but I'll go anyway. You know, I, I want to see my country and my heritage. But I'm not happy about it. It was stupid. Your mother took you on a family road trip around Ireland. Well, feck her anyway. Next time she asks me to go to Tralee, I'm not going to let her dictate what I'm doing. Alright, what else can we do in my class? How am I doing with everybody else? Asher J's lads is grand. Who do I want to, who do I want to size up? Maybe Kylo Tool. Maybe we'll mess with him. Are you sure you want to mess with classmate Kyle? Ah, uh, yeah. I couldn't resist. You blew a spitball right on your classmate Kyle's throat. Oh, into his throat. Gross! I said I wanted to mess with him, not give him a infection. You only have a 22% face. Your looks are only 22%. You can't afford to be going around spitting stuff down lads' throats. Widow baby went to the principal. He snitched on you to the headmaster, Mrs. Evans. Ooh, ooh, looks like I'm going to have to break little Kyle's ankles. What a little shit. Headmaster's office. You've been sent to the headmaster, Mrs. Evans' office, for messing with another student. What will you do? Uh, I'm going to argue with her. I'm a no-holds-barred kind of young lad. You know, I'm not going far in life after my dad left to go to the army, and then my stepdad has a lot of money, but he's not kind at all. And then my mother brought me around Ireland, and it didn't open up my eyes at all at all. So, are you sure you want to argue with the headmaster? Hell yeah, there's problems at home, and I need help. Shaking in me boots. The headmaster, Mrs. Evans, told you that she has confidence that you will turn things around. You know what, that's good. That's a good headmaster. Even though I'm being a little bollocks, she turned around, and she had my back. Uh, she wants to help me out. You know what, I feel bad for being a troubled youth. Kyle doesn't like me anymore, though. And I'm kind of okay with it. You know what we will do? We'll start Ava O'Toole. Is she related to Kyle? Because I'm going to flirt with her. If I flirt with her and mess with him, that family's not going to know what's going on. You pass a note to your classmate Ava in class. Her receptiveness. Ooh. Not great. We're looking for greens here, Ava. We're not looking for reds. We're not a red kind of guy. My face is already in the red. My happiness is about to head there next. All right, we'll age up. Troublemaker, your classmate Ponce just let off a stink bomb in the middle of a test. What will you do? What am I going to do? God, the choices are laugh at him, report him to the headmaster, ignore his antics, or rumble with him. Come on. What age am I? Eight? I think I'm eight years old. I think I'm going to laugh at him. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's good. I am growing into my face, though. That's good. You see this? I'm at 23%. A little higher, and it'll be a quarter of the way there to perfection. All right, what else can I do with my class? It's, class is boring. Kind of want to drop out of school. Interact with your teachers. Ah, here we go. Mrs. Evans, headmaster. What will I do with her? Uh, let's suck up to her. You left a lollipop on headmaster Mrs. Evans' desk as a gift. That's not sucking up to your teacher. Do you know what sucking up means? Just because just because you're sucking a lollipop does not mean you can suck up to your teacher just by giving one to her. Doesn't make any sense. You should go in and say like, Ah, James, Mrs. Evans, you're looking grand today. How's those ankles? I know if you. I know it's been fierce hard on you after since Jimmy left. Whatever. Should I spend time with my stepdad? I probably should, shouldn't I? Spend time with him or go to the movies. Let's spend time with him. Let's see what he's into. Leave me alone. You asked your stepfather to go make friendship bracelets, but he refused. You know what, Paddy? 
I'm not surprised. Going to make French li friendship. Speaking English doesn't sound good. All right, let's age up. We're, we're age nine now. We have a baby sister already. Jesus Christ, mother, calm down. Your mother and stepfather just had a baby girl named Faye, your new half-sister. Faye Murray. John Murray, your stepfather told you that he never knew how difficult being a parent could be until he met you. What will you do? I'm out here, John! You know, bearing my soul to you! I'm out here trying to be a lad! Trying to spend time with you, trying to connect, you know? Lad to lad, potato to potato! And you didn't want any, and then you went off and had sex with me mother. No one has sex with my mother and gets away with it. Alright, I'm a- yeah, I'm a- insult him. You don't belong here. You called your stepfather brainless. You could have gone with anything there, Paddy. You could have gone with, you're a gobshite. You're a loser. You're a fool. You're an idiot. No, you went with a brainless, whatever. WTF. He attacked you with a laser blaster, but missed. <laughs> what? Jeez, this is getting very violent. There's domestic violence in my video games. I'm not sure I like this. Wait, did he try and... Did he try and, like, shoot me with a laser out of the laser blaster? Or did he actually, like, throw the laser, laser blaster at me? And try and hit me in the head with it, or try and pistol whip me with a laser blaster? I should tell me mother on him! Where's Isabella? Isabella! Uh, conversation. You and your mother had a chat about whether or not students should wear uniforms. That's not what I wanted to talk about! You know what? Opening up to people is hard. I'm a flirt with Kyle's sister again. Oh, your mother wants to buy you and your half-sister a pet Doberman! Named Jackson. That sounds awesome. I'm Jack, and he would be my son. Jackson. Health, yeah. Happiness, yeah. Smart, yeah. Craziness, yes, I want him. Yes, mother. I don't have a dog in real life, because I travel too much right now, and I will get a dog eventually, and it's going to be the best, most wonderful time of my life. But until then, I'm going to have to live out my fantasies in the game. My mother bought you a dog named Jackson for you and your half-sister. Really, it's just for me. I know you're buying it for me and my sister, but I know what you're really up to, mother. It's because John doesn't like me. Alright, let's get in with Ava again. Uh, Ava, let's uh, pay her a compliment. I told your classmate Ava that she's golden. She called you a dingbat? Why does nobody like me? I'll visit the doctor. See what the doctor has to say about me. Visit the emergency room. Seek western medicine. I'll seek western medicine. Which local medical doctor will you visit? Dr. Lily Bennett or Dr. Jacob Byrne? Let's go with Lily. Dr. Lily Bennett has determined you are not currently suffering from any conditions. So it's everybody else's fault then. Really. That's what you're telling me. My relationship with everybody else is on the rocks. But I'm doing grand. Alright, I'm 11 years old. Uh, troublemaker. Your classmate Jack just came into class late and slammed the door. I mean, what do you want me to do about it? Am I gonna snitch on him? No! Snitches get stitches. I don't want- uh, Stitches is horrible. He's a terrible friend. I don't want to hang out with him. Ignore his antics. Whatever. I'm trying to figure out my own life here. Oh, I'm still a 24% look so. My face isn't doing well with age. <laughs> I- I fail right as I came out of the womb. I came out of the womb! Uh, looking like a spud. Oh! Oh! God! Uh, I hit that one by accident. You had a conversation with your classmate Ava about why Pharrell is better than Enrique Iglesias. Okay. Not the most riveting of conversations, but we're in. We have our foot in the door with Ava. Kyle's going to be upset. What will we do with Kyle? Let's have a conversation with Kyle and see what happens. You tried to start a conversation with your classmate Kyle about who will be next. Who will be the next UFC champion? He called you an ass clown. Ah, <laughs> that sounds about right. He's not wrong. All right. Your friend and classmate Aaron tells you that he is going to fail your art. He is going to fail your art teacher, Mrs. Sheehan's class, unless you let him cheat off you on the upcoming exam. You do not want to cheat off me. It's like the blind leading the blind. I- I was actually going to cheat off somebody else. Um... Help him study and say- I'm helping him study. Well, yeah. You helped your classmate Aaron study for a test. He failed the exam. I, again, he would have failed it if he copied off me. So... It was a lose-lose situation. I see this as an absolute loss. Aaron- Aaron has the... Fucking attention span of us. Shovel anyway, so what was he gonna do with him? Feckin Aaron lads, what are we gonna do? Schedule? Oh god, I have stress. I don't want stress! Stress sucks! Stre I have stress in real life, I don't want stress in me games. Skip class and do something else. I could just drop out of school and live my life as a clown like I've always wanted to. Ooh, I have activities now. What do we wanna do? We could do Animal Rights Club. 
I don't know what that is. Uh, I can infer from the name. Basketball team, choir, cross country team, dance club, diving team, environment club, foreign language club, golf, lacrosse. We don't have lacrosse in Ireland. Unless they've changed Ireland since I was there. Uh, let's join the soccer team, the football team. Oh, my athleticism is phenomenal. Only rivaled by my health. I'm going straight to the top. I'm going to be the Irish Ronaldo. Where did we start? You successfully tried out and were selected for the junior secondary school soccer team. Did my looks go up? You know what? You know what? I'm going to flirt with Ava again. She's going to like a bad boy now. You did the shoot dance move to try and impress your classmate Ava. Her receptiveness. We're in, lads! Ava knows what's up! Your looks may be bad, but as soon as you join a football team, everyone's like, Ooh, yeah, I'll have me some of that. Look at that fine young potato action. Oh no. You have an opportunity to have your first kiss with a girl from your class named Ava O'Toole. What will you do? Oh no. Oh, me heart, lads. Oh, this is where the stress is coming away, coming in. Run away from her. No. <laughs> kiss her, but definitely no tongue. Kiss her with tongue. You know what? I do want to go, like... Full alpha. Just like fully dominate this situation that's going on. Coming in as a 12, 12 year old being like, What's up? Or am I 13? I have no idea what age I am. Uh, life comes at you fast. It's just like Ava's face and I have to make a decision. Alright, let's kiss her without tongue. I'm young. I don't know what this thing does yet. It can barely even say words. You tongue kissed Ava O'Toole. She tasted like hot dog. <laughs> what? She tasted like hot dog. Hot dogs are awesome. Maybe not in a kiss. I don't know if I'd want somebody to taste like a hot dog in a kiss. But that's good! We gave a kiss to Ava! And she- look at that experience! There's hair in this chest and I'm going to the big leagues. I thought I told you not to tongue kiss Ava though. Also, did my looks go down? I thought I was at 25% at one point and now I'm at 24%. What's going on? Oh god, I signed up for social media. What is going on with my small lad body? My looks are down to 20% now. What age am I? I'm 14 years old. I work for the Shannon Times, deliver newspapers. I'm on a football team. I had my first hot dog kiss. But my looks are deteriorating fast. My happiness is at 100%. My health is at 99. And my smarts are at 100%. Life is going great except for right here. Maybe I have some sort of like second head or something going on that the game hasn't told me yet. Do you know what? I'm going to prove that it's not all about looks. Alright? You, you, you see this? I didn't get anywhere in life because of my good looks. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> I'm a talker. That's what I do. I'm a talker and I make the funny ha-has. But this was getting me nowhere. So I had to I had to, I had to verge into different paths. So we're going to do that for Paddy Fitzpatrick in the next episode. We had our first kiss though. Life is blooming. Life is great. Life is good. My looks just aren't. Now I leave it in your hands. Where's Paddy going from here? Do we, do we make him the really badass bad boy? Or do we make him go somewhere nice in life? So what type of character are we going to make Paddy Fitzpatrick? You get to decide from this video for the next one. So leave it down in the comments below what you want me to see. What you want me to- What you want to see me do with Paddy? I can't even speak. I told you. This thing can't even say words. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you don't leave a like on the video, then Paddy Fitzpatrick's going to come over and tongue kiss you like a hot dog. Also, subscribe to the channel because we upload videos every single day and we have a lot of fun here together. So until next time, I will see you then. I don't know what that sign-off is. Uh, bye. <laughs>